Hello again, welcome back to my channel. And I've just arrived in the Esdale area of the Lake District. And uh, it's really quite busy. I've left it late. It's uh, nearly five o'clock now in the afternoon. I've left it quite late. I knew it would be busy because uh, the weather's so nice. And this is a really popular area for wild swimming. So I don't want to get mixed up with the crowds. You know, if you watch my channel regularly, you'll know that um, I search for solitude in the mountains and that's what I'll be looking for today. I'm trying to avoid the crowds and find somewhere to myself and just have a nice peaceful night in the mountains. But uh, it's, I mean, look at, that's looking up to uh, hard knot there. There's bow fell right in front of us and uh, slight side scar fell there. It's uh, what a day, but 30 degrees. Oh my God. Um, it's that hot. I've got a vest on, but my string vest is in the wash. So I've had to, uh, I've had to just wear this one. Um, right. So I'm gonna head down the valley now and uh, I'm expecting to see quite a few people, even though it's late, there's people around and it's a nice day. So there'll be people knocking around. I want to avoid them and I've got an idea of where I want to pitch. Get a bit of altitude, nothing major, thousand feet, something like that. And I want to be able to see my favorite mountain range, which is the Scarfell range. So get a bit of elevation, that in front of me and uh, that should be uh, a great night. Let's go. So I'm just looking back there and I think I can see that Estelle needle. Can you see it there, the pointy thing? I don't know if it's that, but it might be. Yeah. Nice. I won't be back to check that out for sure. There's no air mate, there's no air. Whew. So, I'm thinking, I wanna have a look up there and uh, see what's what. Brought a different tent this time, freestanding tent. So, give me a few more options pitching uh, on more solid ground, no wind, unfortunately. <laughs> Morning again, one minute. You don't want wind. When there's no wind, you want wind. Oh God. Breeze, that's would be nice. The breeze, not wind. Um, let's look up to Crinkle Crags up there. Again, another different aspect. Looks different again. Really interesting. So we've got to get up here. Still got some climbing to do yet. Top of this pass is about 1200 feet, I think. Um, I think we set off from about 300 feet. We'll keep going.
So I was just uh, sort of jumping across this grass, there's no path. My target is uh, heading up there, which is sort of at the top of the valley, but uh, spotted somewhere else. And uh, I must be mad, but you know what I'm like. Um, fancying that. It means dropping down and then up there. Yeah, come on. So just uh, sort of checking it out, that side looks the most gradual uh, ascent around that side, but this side, although it's steeper, it's in the shade. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead for that. Who knows? Is it the right thing to do? Who knows that uh, I could do with a bit of a cooling off. <coughs> And uh, I might get some water in this stream if it's running. I've got my filter. I've got a, a litre of water I brought with me. Well, one and a half litres. And I've drunk. That's half a litre. I've drunk that on the way up. So I've one litre left. It's probably be fine. I don't drink much. But I don't drink enough, I admit that. Um, so let's have a look in this stream. And uh, maybe get another half a litre. Wow, feeling better after that and ready to um, attack this ascent. Or maybe not, but we'll get on with it anyway. Oh, so I've just got to the bottom of the that ascent that I was telling you about. It's just so nice to be in the shade. Ooh, really is. That's a killer, that, that heat. Again, look, I mean, look, at the, there's no breeze, nothing at all. So there's no path up here. I don't even know if there's anywhere to pitch. There's only one way to find out. So it's just a matter of dragging my ass through there and sort of making my own path. There's no path, so, and then it, it'll curl around to the summit up there. gonna have a mooch about and find somewhere to pitch be back to you in a bit right so we're pitched up and because I didn't know what sort of terrain to expect brought the little upkit soloist but uh, I've got some friends moved in. Look at the state, you can hear them. Oh God. I brought a uh, midge net, but I haven't brought any spray or anything. So yeah, but my idea, I mean, it was 
the last camp that I did was uh, insects everywhere, so I thought if I bring this, I've mentioned it before because of that sloped end, get your head at this end and you can look through the mesh and do a bit of stargazing, it's really nice for that. So that was the idea with this, fancy to change as well. But also there was a nice table and chairs uh, next to this pitch, so I thought I can have me, have me tea in here, but uh, some other people have moved in these lot. Anyway, no big deal. Not gonna let it spoil spoil it for us. Now the problem with being up here is just oh, just fancy getting in that water. But it means going down there, doesn't it? I can't be asked. Yeah, so I'm just going to chill out for a bit now, I think. I've got a bit of shade in that side of the tent. But uh, what time is it? 7 o'clock. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Trying not to let these, I feel like flying ants, I think. Trying not to let them bother me. Man, look at these. So, I've just been doing a bit of tidying up. What I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in the tent. You know when I said that theory about I'm not letting them bother me? It started bothering me. So. <laughs> get in the tent and just uh, just have a chill for a bit I think and uh, hopefully that sun goes down a bit and uh, these uh, clear off who knows who knows right I'll see you in a bit uh, just came in the tent to uh, get out of the sun and have a lie down for a bit Did been asleep for an hour. My God, I'm knackered. But uh, little friends don't seem to have uh, gone anywhere. I pulled a few of them in with me when I got in the tent, but I managed to pick them off individually. Um, what Not all of them though. So I'm going to get out. I think and. Uh, See what's going on out there. Sun's gone down behind the mountain, so that's cooled off a bit. Still no breeze, but it's it's fine. It's, it's definitely cooled now, which is great. Uh, look outside. Let's brave it and get out there, eh? I don't want to let any of them uh, flying ant things in here though. <laughs> How beautiful is that? You can see it all now, now that the sun's gone down. Dragonfly there. Bit of a breeze as well. Right. Let's uh, I get my boots on and uh, Dip over to the table and chairs and uh, have something to eat and drink, I think.
Look at that. Gorgeous, really is. All my skin on my arms and my legs is starting to sting, so I've been bitten to bloody death. All part of the fun though, eh? And, um, what do you reckon? Bit of tea. This is my, um, I'm just thinking back, this is my fourth camp in the past week. Yeah, I can't believe, it was just a week ago today, I was with uh, Scott and Craig down in Wales, went down in Wales and camped with them. Then I came back up to the Lake District, did two camps in the Lake District in different locations. Then I went back to work for a couple of days and then I came up here after work today um so this is my fourth camp in a week i can't believe it i think i've driven about 600 miles i've walked about 25 miles on the camps and i've done about 7,000 feet of ascent um in the past week yeah so keeping busy but uh i think uh, yeah i think i need a bit of a rest after this yeah so i'm gonna get to uh, get that wine opened i think and uh, have the sandwich and enjoy that i think i've earned it when i'm up in these places i find it's nice to uh just let your mind wander and uh just sort of be at one with all this all the scenery and uh i've christened you see see the big ball there just in between, you've got a slight side there, uh, Scarfell, and Scarfell Pike, there's a big ball, I've actually camped in there as well, but uh, I've christened that area the throne of the gods, just imagine the big god sat in, sat in there, with his arms one either side, just a uh, big mountain god, oh, love it absolutely love it so the sun's setting over there now we're too low to actually see a sunset but uh we can still enjoy the eastern skies going pink so quiet too after um quite hustle, quite a bit of hustle and bustle I was, I was walking up all the people uh, swimming there but moved on now and uh, we're just up here on our own enjoying the peace and quiet and just you can just feel you can just feel the power of these mountains in there for thousands of years Quite calming as well, no drama, so much power, but uh, just sat there, calm, peaceful, absolutely love it. You guys will get it, I'm sure. People that are watching my videos, I'm sure they're of the same mind as me and you know, we share that feeling, we share that love for the mountains. I can't even explain it. I really can't. But uh, I'm not even going to trouble my mind trying to explain it because it doesn't matter why. Just that you can take so much from it. That's what's important. <sighs> right, back to my tea and my wine, I think.
another thing I've been doing quite a bit of recently, and I keep mentioning it to you, is trying to work out different mountains from different angles. And I can't believe it. See, that one there, that's Grey Friar. That's where I was on a, a camp I did recently. Yeah. Really, the more you get out, the more you are able to identify the mountains from different angles. We've got Grey Friar there, and then that over there is Dow Crag. See the one that, like that? Dow Crag. Kringle Crag's Bow Fell. This is, um, going up here, it's Pike de Beale, it's called. I've camped on there a couple of times, I think. Yeah, and that up to Esk Pike. Esk Pike. Three tarns there. Camp, camp there as well. Brilliant. Right, I hope you can see me. I'm just holding my head torch um, underneath my GoPro. I can't see a bloody thing because I'm being blinded. But um, here we are. And uh, the ladies of the night, I can just see their eyes lighting up. That's there, you might probably won't be able to see it, but uh, the sheep are just <laughs> out there thinking, what the hell is that guy doing? And uh, I've just been for a bit of a, a look around just to see if there's anyone else out there. A bit disappointed, really. Um, I thought I might have seen some head torches or tents lit up in all this nothingness, really. But uh, no, looks like I've got it all to myself and uh, I was looking forward to maybe seeing it. It's nice when you see a light out there and you think, oh, it's a, a fellow mountain brother or sister out there enjoying what I'm enjoying. But um, no, looks like I've uh, got it all to myself, which is surprising. I mean, all this. Anyway, I've spotted a few stars. The stars are starting to come out now and reveal themselves. So I'm going to get in the tent, I think. Maybe try and get a bit of sleep. And then um, if I wake up and it's gone proper dark, I can uh, do a bit of stargazing. Love that. Right. Might see you in a bit. Or I might not if I just uh, check out. See ya. Good morning, it's quarter to six now, the sun has risen but uh, we can't see it uh, blocked by Crinkle Crags, Bow Fell and them, uh, them lot but uh, look at the moon there, really beautiful that and there is just a bit of a breeze and the bugs aren't out yet which is nice, it's 14 degrees. See the sun just starting to appear on the slight side there and across to Scarfell. As usual, I've been thinking about uh, what route I'm going to take back. <laughs> Yeah, and I've decided. Look 
could just sit here and just look at it and study it all day. So many little nooks and crannies and so many places to explore. So I haven't brought any brewing tackle, I just thought it's way too hot for that. So I've just got some of them little uh, sort of uh, bars for my breakfast and um, I'll just have some water. Right, I'm going to uh, have something to eat I think and uh, watch for that sun to come up. Right, so it's 10 to 7 now, and that sun has literally just broken over the horizon there, which is really nice. So that's 17 degrees it is at the minute, so it's going to start warming up pretty quickly. But um, as usual, leave no trace, all nice and tidy. And just look at that. All starting to light up now. Throne of the gods there. Brilliant. So I've decided which route I'm going to go back and I'm going to have a look on this peak here and then just loop round via hard knot and then got that slog down the bloody hard knot path but I might do something different over there have a bit of a nosy around and, uh, and then uh, back to the car Right, let's go
just made it to another peak now and looking back to that's where I was on there last night on that crag lighting up beautifully yeah what a morning So it's just eight o'clock now and that sun's properly up. Um, we've got a nice breeze, which is really helpful and uh, makes things a bit easier. But uh, there's no path on this section. So it's uh, a bit of a slog just getting over these, uh, over this moorland. Look at that though. Just can't take my eyes off it. So I should meet a path further up here. But I haven't seen it yet, so I've just got to keep going. So I've picked up that path now, which does make things a bit easier. But it's certainly warming up. It really is. So I'm breaking off the main path now and uh, I'm going to have a look for something. I mentioned it at the beginning of the video if you, you might remember. So let's go exploring and see if we can find it. So I'd almost give up then on finding it, but uh, I've spotted it. I was hoping to go for a bit of a swim this morning, but there's just, there's too many people around. There's loads of tents everywhere. None, none up where I was camping, but uh, down by the water, there's loads of tents. So I've just avoided that. But um, can you see it there? I think that's the Estale Needle. I actually went over that way and I couldn't see it, I nearly, nearly gave up. I thought I'd just come back this way and then I looked back and saw it. So uh, let's go and take a closer look. Yes, found it. Look at this. Love that. Now I won't be getting on top of it, it's beyond me that. Superb! What a place!
Wow, that's brilliant, love that. So I'm glad I, glad I found it and I can show it to you guys. Um, now I've got to work out how the hell to get off of here. Looks like there's a way down here. Great views in here. Wow. Now that's a view. So I'm just skirting around the side of these crags now. There's no path again. So I'm trying to sort of head for the hard knot fort and I don't want to gain any altitude although I've been a bit up and downy to get to this point. So there's the Estale needle there. Look at that. What a day. Still got that breeze, which is nice. Looking out to the west there, got views of the Isle of Man, across the Irish Sea. A bit of a sheep track here, heading in my sort of direction. So I keep going this way, hopefully get sight of that fort soon and uh, Start heading down to that. Right, first sign of the fort. Roman fort's just there, a hard knot. But um, I've just got to work out, I said there's no path, so I've just got to work out how to get off of here. And my knees are really aching. Not not injured, just just aching. I've been, uh, I've been done so much walking and downhill walking over the past week. So just want to try and look after them using the trekking poles. But uh, yeah, so hard knot, fort's there, my cars, you can see some cars parked there, that's where I'm parked. And uh, yeah, I just got to get back now, look after these knees. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to go that way. There's a path there I can see, so if I head that way, and then it should bring us round. Let's go. So that's just looking back where I've come down from, hard knot. There, there's a hard knock past the road and uh, nearly at the fort now. Ooh, knackered. Yeah, I've just got, uh, it's got that much water left. It took uh, two and a half litres out of the drunk when I finished that. Yeah, nearly at the fort now. So this is the Roman Fort. I'll leave a link in the description for anyone that's interested if you want more information about this. But, 
it's uh, really interesting. Very popular place with uh, tourists there. So yeah, check it out, link in the description. So I've just made it back to the car, ready for a rest. Not, I feel all right, but my knees are really aching. So I need a rest after that, but I uh, hope you've enjoyed that. It was, uh, it was great. I mean, bloody hell, it's hot and it's getting hot now. There's no wind again, as you can probably see, the grass isn't even moving. So it's gonna be another baking day. Yeah, but being so hot, I really, I really wish I could have had a swim in some of them pools, but I say, it's, it's just too busy for me. I don't wanna be, uh, I don't wanna be hanging around there with so many people. Um, so I'm gonna head back via the Hard Knock Pass and then you drop down to the Rhinos Pass and there's some, there's a stream there. So I might just get in that um, if there's enough water flowing. But uh, if you're ever doing this, uh, the Hard Knock Pass, it's all right this way. And then you drop down onto the Rhinos, really nice until you get to Little Langdale and it's an absolute nightmare because um, it's it's single track there's hardly any passing places if there's someone coming you've got to back up it's an absolute nightmare i could stay out tonight but i, I need a rest <laughs> um so i'm going to just have a chill out at uh, when i get back i think and uh give my knees a rest but i really enjoyed finding that uh s dale needle love that um so, so I hope you enjoyed the video too. Get in the comments if you've got any questions for me about uh, the routes or the area or if you've got any advice. I always appreciate that too. And uh, big thanks for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. See ya. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs>